okay, here's what happened. I read a blog post or maybe saw a TikTok or I don't remember, but I saw something that said like most baby clothes are supposed to hang dry. And I don't know if that's true, but I was like, I've got the time. So here's what happened. Um, I washed our newborn and zero to three month clothes. And every surface in our home <laughs> that I could possibly hang things on has things hung on it <laughs> because it was a lot more than I anticipated. And here we go into the hallway, which is also baby clothes central. <laughs> Even the ring light, beautiful, amazing. Uh, they are mostly dry. I'm gonna toss them on the dryer so they get like, I don't know, you know when you hang dry clothes and they get like, they just have a different texture to them. So I am gonna pop them on the dryer for like 15 minutes just to like, I don't know, loosen them up. But yeah. All right, Peehee's working on the... I slept weird, so this is why my hair on looks the like that. <laughs> it's like on the wrong side. I'm just going to shower later and it'll fix it, but don't perceive it. Um, somebody was selling a, like, monkey wood cutout thing online. Um, and so I just stole their picture from that for the shape because this is perfect. I just needed, like, one. Made it small, the size that I wanted it to be. We're doing this little teeny tiny section of wall you right take there. take them over there. No, you take them over there. Well, what? You don't want to? No. So I traced them. That's how they look. It's this. And then Morgan wrote what, like, initial of color she wants it to be. Yeah. And now we're doing the monkeys. And now, I think you could probably finish this today. To be it's honest. monkey time. Uh, I don't know. Because I have to do their faces also. Oh, and yeah. And they're going to need a couple coats. Also, the clouds aren't quite done. It's like the uppest ones. Yeah, there. Felix has some feelings about the clouds. I feel like they're done. No, they're not. I'd have only done one layer up there. Are you hearing that? And on what there, there's what there, there's only one layer. Yeah, so they need more, another layer. Everything else is good though. Did you want to explain our curtain vision? Oh no, you do that <laughs> because it's bananas. <laughs> I'll do it later when we when I can visualize it better. It's we'll gonna be the picture. so cute. We have a new curtain vision. Yes. that's what matters. Yeah, that is what matters. All right, kids. Here's a lesson with Uncle Felix. We don't have green. What do we have? We have blue and we have yellow. Maybe it'll make green. Let's see. We did test this beforehand. On a smaller scale. On a smaller scale. We'll see if this is a color that we want it to be. If it's not, that'll be sad. ASMR. Smack. Smack ASMR. It's a lot of smacking. Yeah. All right. Give us the prognosis and the update. Okay, so we've done two layers on the monkeys. We need to do a third layer on them, and then also. Oh, good. That's you're not here. about me, it's about the penguin. Well, yeah, but your arm was in the way. We need a third, maybe a fourth layer on some of them, and then to do their stupid little faces. And then I'm um, just going over these last couple of clouds that I didn't quite finish up. And then tell them about the, did you tell them about the curtains? Okay, no, here's the problem. <clears throat> here's the vision with the curtains is the dresser slash changing tables going under the window so we can't have long curtains um so i'm getting like sh like a, a blackout shades which are like very close to the glass part but i still want curtains to be cute and so i have this vision that felix and i are going to bring to life of like crayons that are the size of the entire window next to each other, hanging from like the tips of their crayon, if that makes sense. I think it'll be cute. I don't know how we're gonna do it yet. We're trying we're... to decide between like getting one piece of fabric that's like canvas and painting it and using the, my mom has a silhouette machine, which is like a Cricut, but a different brand. Yeah. Using that to do like the black part. That we'll probably do regardless. Or getting, one piece of canvas and cutting them up into crayons and dyeing, dyeing them. them. I feel like that's gonna be like cute. Or we could buy fabric of the colors we want. Yeah. Cutting them and like sewing them together. In terms of cost effectiveness. I think the canvas is gonna make the most sense. I just don't know if dyeing or painting is gonna be better. Yeah. 
I think regardless, it's gonna be best to cut them into the crayon shapes first, then dye well, or paint them, I then sew we'll them do together. Like a test dye, essentially. Yes. Yeah. A couple of them. So we just we'll see. Be, how expensive is canvas? I don't know. We'll have to ask Graham. But yeah, it should be should be interesting. All right, it's the next day. There's no paint spilled on the counter. Mm, I don't know about that. None paint. Certainly not Shrek colored paint. That's know. what you were hoping okay, for. Okay, the grout is... It's, that's always been Shrek grout, <laughs> I think. <laughs> that's how it's looked. I don't know if that's I'm pretty sure Shrek. that's always looked. I don't think so. I'm fairly certain this <laughs> Okay. It's the next day. All right. And you... Our paint faces today? I think so. I should probably have looked at them first. Yeah, I can go film them. Okay, is that more paint? Oh no, that's a paintbrush. Where? Okay, this red paintbrush I thought was paint. Oh my crack. god, no, you thought I just like painted a crack. You're such a hater. <laughs> And that's why I do such a bad job. Is no, you do it. I can feel your hater levels from the other room. You do a room. good job. This is an interesting choice. Oh, you okay. Sometimes I just punch things. <laughs> it's my it's my feminine rage. <laughs> it's the Olivia what we go of it all. It's the Olivia what do we go of it all. Hey hey, here's the monkeys. Look at them. Look at them go. It's. It's literally so cute. They need another layer? No, I don't think so. I think, I think they look good. If you disagree, bite me. My husband worked really hard on those monkeys. You be, better be nice. Just a couple of dudes screwing in a little curtain rod. What are you gonna do? Okay, but what? No, I just, you don't wanna use the long one? Shape? Oh, I don't think it would help. Oh, sure. Thank you. Sorry. Thank I was, you. It's the wrong, it's the wrong type. I know. I oh, oh I sure. Know. I, I thought it would help. I think it was going to work. All right. No. He looks good. He looks he good. Look good. Look good. This is from Marta Luna. Yeah. He's a car smelly. No, but he was in front of your face. No, but that's how I like to be perceived look now. Look how pink I am. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, anyway. We had our second anatomy scan. We're, pre he, we're pretty sure they got all the pictures they needed. Yes. That was what she said. Yeah. I mean, the doctor could call and be like, actually, I want more pictures of this thing. Yeah. Um, He was very cooperative. You're yelling in my ear. Yeah. Well, this phone's really far from me. It's not that far. He was really cooperative. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he wasn't. No. He, he, I mean, that's true. He was more cooperative than he was the first time. Yeah. He was in a better position for them to get. They got lots of pictures of his heart. Yeah. The girly literally gave us, like, I swear, like 20 pictures. I'm obsessed with her. She's a star. There's one of his little foot by his face. Yeah, his foot was up by his head for a little bit. So cutesy. Um, but hopefully the doctor will call us, like, later in the afternoon and be like, everything looks normal and good. Yeah. Um, a bit of a bummer, though, because, like, this is the... We only have one more scan, and it'll be at, like, 30 four weeks yes which is a long time from now <laughs> yeah i don't think we'll need to go to a sneak a peek place uh we'll find out you're feeling you kick a lot that's true that helps a ton there's that we did drive to the wrong place <gasps> yes they didn't give us the information we assumed we were going to the hospital which is where, where we, we had, had the, the first, first scan and then we checked in at the hospital and they said you're supposed to be at the radiology place and we were like well, where's that and they were like six minutes away and we're like thank god we're early which was annoying um it's annoying i should have called and made sure but like we called the no. same number that we called to book the first one yeah so and why would i think they're like be in a different my building? chart like approval whatever yes. thing there wasn't like an address and there was with the first one was there with the first one yes because okay. that was how i knew okay. like it was in building a because okay. otherwise i wouldn't have known that um yeah which is obnoxious to me yeah now we're gonna go on home goods yes and see if we can find a shelf a shelf that's really it really just a shelf if they have one of those um tables side tables that are fruits or treats i might lose my mind and then decide that we're buying that and nothing yeah. else um and then maybe we're actually gonna go to ulta to get some face patchy things for me and maybe a cleanser 
Because we started shopping at Winco, which I love, but they don't have like a... They don't have a great like... They're not like a skincare girly store, yeah. and I kind of need that right now. They're my... like only groceries are good. Yes. But anything that's not groceries, like any like office supplies or like... Yes. Anything kind of like that. Office they, supplies. They and then Morgan, what did you want from Bath & Body Works? Oh, I need. I just need a refill. I don't know if you know this, but they make uh, refillable like foamy soaps now. And we have oh. the most incredible soap dispenser that gives a little Mickey Mouse hand that we got a long time ago that I've just been refilling. You have been refilling it. <laughs> <laughs> But you can now, they sell Bath & Body Works refillable soap, and they're in, like, um, recyclable containers. We could also get a new seasonal car smell. <gasps> we also, well, that I, was the other thing. I right? like the guy no, that we yeah, have. I like the, I like the smell. We can put a new smelly in him. Yeah, he definitely needs a new smell. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're up to. Well, hopefully remember to film in the home goods, but we'll see. I don't know. This is exactly what you look like. Just a guy in a dapper outfit with some flip-flops. A goose. Oh my god. Okay, I love his flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> not really. He's what? a crop top. He's in a crop top and panties. He is a crop top and panties. This is how I look on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> they got what is presumably squirrel Jesus over here. I don't know what's going on with this and man. Birds. Squirt Jesus. Yes. Oh my we god. We can't get this. It's $79. He's broken. And he's missing, yeah. And it's the reduced price. Yeah, his first price was $100. Oh my god. He is really insane though. I'll be honest, this almost has me. Bench, storage. Well, we need, we need one of these at the foot of our bed to keep, uh, someone has a lot of throw pillows. Mm. And they need a place to go in the night. Hmm, in the dark. Instead of just throwing them on the floor. They're really cute. 150 these are the cutest is too much like for me, me right but they don't now. have storage. No, 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 no. I, I'm gonna guess it's $50. It's $32. No. Yeah. Why is it so cute? It started 40. Hold on. Uh, I wonder if something's wrong with the top of it. No. It's so cute. What would we use it for? Just for our feet. To probably, we can't get it. We no. don't have enough of a need for it, but it is it's really so cute. It's so cute. None of this is speaking to me. I'm not feeling spoken to. This is just what I was looking for. Yeah, that's this perfect. This is what I told to buy. Yeah. Perfect. On clearance, even. It doesn't open up. Oh, good. There's no storage. Right. Does this horn honk, at least? No. Great. I love Look at her. her. A little chunky girl. I love her. She's adorable. She says, Welcome to my home. <laughs> what is this? If you're a snail that's old, boy, do we have news for you. <laughs> okay, we didn't end up going to Bath and Body Works. No, I, I still have another refill like, left of it, Mo so it's not dangerous. Morgan's been going through this thing where she gets um, hot. It's so hot. So hot it's in the so car. Mean. Yes, and that's okay. She's doing her free trial of autism, um, which is apparently pregnancy. This is the cleanser that I have been using that has worked really well before my face threw a fit. So I'm hoping I can go back to that and not have bad red face with many, many zits. And then we got little zit guys. Yeah, we've been eating them for a while, but they don't have them at Winco. And then before that, they 60. were sold out at Fred Meyer. 60 of them? Are you kidding me? Medical grade rapid action for visible blemishes. We don't have a, like, we don't have brand loyalty for a couple of patches. Not at all. We've, no. got, we've done Star, or no, what's Star called? Starface? Yeah. It's mostly to stop me from picking at my own face at this point, because um, I have a disease where, like, I really do that really bad. Well, I just keep having with my, like, hormonal tea acne. They just, like, I just, it's it's really hard for me not to pinch them. So hopefully this will help with that. 60. Good morning. I am addicted to the idea of having a Play-Doh bucket clothes, not clothes, play what's it called we have no plans for it you just love no, it no 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 it's gonna have like a, like toys in it I like a toy it chest will. morgan doesn't want me to make a giant play-doh no, bucket i love it i don't know how we're practically gonna fit it into the baby's room but i love the idea it's gonna be so good it's gonna be really cute no 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 don't be mad it's gonna be for his toys he doesn't have that many toys perfect it's a kind of small bucket <laughs> It could also be a little trash can. I don't room. want trash in his room. Because he might try to grab it. Okay, it has a lid. I know. He might open it. You hate my ideas. And climb in. I don't think you so. I'm worried. It's baby size. It's not. It's five gallons. That's one. If you liquefy a baby. You're scaring me. <laughs> I'm so scared of you right now. Anyway, it's going to be really cute. My wife hates me. We're <laughs> headed to the Ace Hardware. Where's the Ace Hard? Oh, here it is. That's the Ace Hardware, which is conveniently located <laughs> next to a Dollar Tree with a gift shop. What is gift shop? I'm at the Ace Hardware. 
I'm at the Dollar Tree. I'm at the Combination Ace Hardware Gift Shop and Dollar Tree. <laughs> also, they have big green egg on that sign over there. Yeah, we come to this Fred Meyer that's right here all the time, but we've never been. To I've, I've literally never been to Ace Hardware yet. No, we have passed it before. Sure, sure. But I'm I've... thinking. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> She's thinking. We have passed it before. Hmm. I guess now that I think about it, this is where the Ace Hardware is. This is where it is. I've never thought about the gift shop next door. I, I believe we have to go in. Who gift shopping? I don't know. We have to go in. Yeah, I don't know what's gift shop. There's no way. Why is it so? Is it a drug front? I mean this gently. Or for, it's for aliens. Maybe. They're like, we get human commercialism. Yes. Here, buy your gifts. <laughs> um, the gift shop is normal. It's just a place for white women. Yeah, it is weird that it's in. I guess this is where they pit the wives while the husbands are in the Ace Hardware. Oh, it's very smart. Okay, but you'd have to enter the Ace Hardware to get to the gift shop. Oh, are you filming? Yeah, we oh, should film. You didn't say anything. Action. Thank you. Okay, uh, we spent $14 total on paint. And then it was like, it was like $12 total for bucket and lid. But it's gonna be so cute. This is also the best, it's white, which I think is gonna be great. We could have got the bucket from Home Depot, but I didn't like. No, they were orange, number one. Yeah, and then also like Home Depot's homophobic or whatever. So this is the decision that we made. I am gonna take like this thingy off of the bucket, but mom's gonna help me with her silhouette machine, which is a cricket. And I'm very excited. I think it's gonna be so, so cutesy. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> We're doing some rearranging. I'm thinking. We're thinking, we're finding the spots where things are gonna go. Yeah, this is definitely, if you didn't know, you're supposed to have a crib on an internal wall. So the only ones we have are this one or that one. Yes. Uh, for like temperature regulation, and I guess so your baby doesn't try to climb out the window maybe. You can think of reasons, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> That's what they say. Why am I saying? So, first of all, he'll be in our room for the first six months. For the first six months anyway. In the crib. At least. In a safe sleeping, yes, certified sorry. safe. In the, in the crib. Yes. My only thought, what I would like to do ideally is for him to take naps in here, which is why I love that the crib's on wheels. Yes. So like, I do want it to have a spot. I guess in theory, it could be in the middle of the room. It's not like when he's very small, he'll be like needing the floor that much. Yeah. Anyway, we have this table that I'm gonna put the hatch on. I could put the hatch on this, I guess. That's true. And we could use this. Anywhere else. Yeah. Right under the hanging stuff, maybe. Yeah. Or in the hallway. I think it kind of depends on like what's easy and. I think the thing, this is our first Yeah. Kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't know. We're, everything we're doing, we're doing in theory. <laughs> yes. Where have you been picturing the Toy Story? Uh, Toys? Yes. I don't know. I, lo I do love the shelf. It's not, this is not how it's going to be hung in real life. No. There's just one single nail holding it yeah, right Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, looks. I'm not married to the shelf. Um. I was hmm. before and I've become less married to it. Uh, I don't know. So we're putting the friendship bracelet there. Yes. Yeah, the friendship bracelet's it gonna say, to put it, you've got a friend in me. I don't think it can go up over here. I don't, I don't think, think anything really. The only really. place it could go would be on this wall somewhere. Yeah, I Either think- Either long shelf or two like medium shelf. I think my ideal plan would be cutesy little pennants like right here mm -hmm. over this or like up over the door and into this. And then long shelf here with the Toy Story, the toy story toys. Yeah, the thing about the Toy Story toys, if you didn't know, they're not really safe for babies. So they are literally for display only. Yes. For a couple of now, years. Now eventually he'll have them. Yes, we are not the kind of people to be like, these are the toys These are you collectibles. Can't play with. Yeah, no. None of them are in boxes or anything. No, yeah, we bought them but from we're, they have really small parts and stuff. <laughs> yeah, we got them from Well, in theory. While Morgan was working <laughs> at Disney, mostly on like clearance and at like cast connection, which is where you can like buy cheap yeah. or fucked up things. Yeah, Woody doesn't have a hat. We have to purchase a hat for him. Yes. Um, yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Yeah. I don't know. Where do you want the clock to go? The watch clock? Oh. I think that should be on one of, either one of these weird, no oh my God. things. I don't. Because of the weird size that they are. Or like here. here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. I fuck with that. 
yeah we also don't have any art and i don't know how much art i want because i really like how the walls turned out yeah i kind of like a sort of like clean yeah you know um the i would say the biggest bummer that i'm feeling right now is that i would love plants in here but it would also make me too nervous for there to be plants in here yeah i, I might move some of the fake plants in here Mm, I don't love that. I do think as he gets older, we'll have like little cuttings in here that he can like watch yeah. grow and stuff. Like yeah, where he can be like involved in it, but until that time. Old enough that I can trust him to not drink the water that they're in. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of the... So, be, it could be a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. Felix has to paint some spots on this. And then we're getting a... We're getting the glass top thing that we sell at Ikea. Yes. Because we were foolish and we were like, we won't need that. It was like $75. Yeah. And it still is. But no, and now everyone, I want everyone it. who got one made a really good point. So now we are getting it. And it will make it easier to clean to have a glass top thing on it. Yeah, no, that'll be way better. I also don't think it'll be forever. No. I think once he is like. Not actively pooping on it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. It does make it much easier to clean. To yeah, I think, it, I think it makes sense to just keep it on there forever. Um. And then also, you know, presumably when he's no longer pooping on it, somebody else will be. So. That's what I was just thinking. I yeah. Because I was like, well, it depends on yeah. what happens with his sibling. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's so cute in here. Yeah. My concern is I don't know where we would put a glider in here. This is our only spot. I, I think that my thing that is that like... Could. And to be fair, like this is the actual closet where there's like a rod. Yeah. This right now, this is just supply closet. Yeah. So like it literally has... Stuff that he's not going to need for a long time. Yeah. And like these will have locks on them. So yes. So you'll be able to open them. No, no, no. Anyway, so like I don't need to access it daily the way that I do the other one. So right. So I do think it's fine if the rocker's kind of blocking it. I, I need there to be seating in here. Like I don't care... We also haven't ordered one or done a brand deal with I'm trying to get a free one. Yeah. I just reached out to Baby Leto and Oilo Studio and somebody else. So yeah. we'll see what happens. Um, we also have to move. We're not moving the dresser, but we are moving the bookcase because we have a wet dry vacuum. Yes. We're going to clean the whole carpet. This is the only like weird spot. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on the thing. I think it's literally for me spilling tea. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, yeah. Um, but it'll be a nice time to do that, move all this into the hallway. Yeah. And then it takes like a day and a half for it to all dry. Yeah. But there's nothing, there's no spots under where the dresser is. So I'm not, I'm not moving the dresser out and back in, but the bookcase is much easier to move. Yes. Cause like under there, there are some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is what we're working with. Hello. I'm making a giant watch clock this is a three dollar clock from ikea this is a piece of styrofoam it was a square and i uh traced this circle from this and then uh cut it to make it like roughly the same around i think it's gonna be okay the leather jacket that i thrifted is gonna get chopped up and be like over it we just need something for this to set in um and then i covered it in masking tape in two layers i thought i was gonna need like air dry clay or um i was gonna use like a mod podge and do like a paper mache type thing to make it more structurally sound but i think that actually the tape was kind of perfect i did two layers and it feels significantly sturdier now definitely if i had like pushed on it like this before it would have broken but now it's kind of like holding itself together which is great um and so next i'm going to um and this moves so it'll be fine um uh cover this in the fabric and then if it is not like even looking then i will stuff it in some places or double up on the tape and we'll see what that looks like i'm flying by the seat of my pants so Okay, I'm absolutely losing my mind with this, but I think I have found out. I was originally very attached to there being like no seams on this because I'm just gonna like glue it. I think the leather from the jacket to this like round part. And I think what actually needs to happen is for it to look like smoother, there needs to be more seams because I don't like this like ruffly thing that's happening here. And I don't think in the grand scheme of anything, this is gonna be very noticeable if there's like four of those, especially from like a distance. <sighs> so I think I'm gonna essentially drape it, we've been watching Project Runway, uh, glue, and then cut off the excess 
glue it underneath, use that excess to try to make another like flat piece so that you kind of can't tell as much that it's gonna be, it's one sleeve of the jacket, but it's gonna be like four pieces of shit. And the jacket is also what's gonna make the um, clasp on the other side of like the watch part where you like connect it together. And I'm not sure how I'm making that yet. Possibly also out of styrofoam, we'll see. Sometimes you have a dream and then sometimes you give up on that dream. No. And my dream was for this to be completely smooth and that was just never gonna happen realistically. No, no you could have bought a watch. Yeah. And then micro sized it. Yeah, macro sized it. Macro sized, put it in the microwave. In the microwave, right. But I didn't. And so this is gonna look homemade and I that's okay. I feel like okay. the part that is the most important, honestly, is like the Mickey Mouse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like that part we're printing. Yeah. So like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, are you making, what are your plans with these? Are you keeping them like this or are you making your own numbers? No, I hate them. I was gonna print just a whole like paper watch face That's, that has yeah. Mickey on it and then the numbers. That's how I, well, you might have to print it somewhere special to be one piece. What do you mean? Or, cause it's not, this is bigger than 11 inches. Are you sure? Or nine inches or whatever, yeah. Mm. So it's gonna either be two pieces or you'll have to print it somewhere special. Or I could get a piece of uh, scrapbook paper, cut out the Mickey, make the circle, put it on that, cut out the numbers, yeah, or have that. somebody do the numbers. Or, yeah, or do cricket or silhouette. Uh, yeah, that probably would be best, best. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then I took a Gatorade bottle cap and I covered it in this god-awful fucking leather. And now it has one of those little twisty things like you have on a watch. Yay. All right, this is stage. 17. <laughs> 17? Okay, you walked away. Yeah, go ahead, film me. Yeah. Go ahead and explain your thought process now. Well, I'm trying to make a fucking hole for the clock. That's where I'm at. <laughs> you trying to make the hole for the, the little- The watch thing. Yes. Ah. The watch hole. The tape is where they're gonna cut. And I'm glad we've kept, we've kept a bunch of pieces of styrofoam recently for, cause we know how many weird projects we had. Oh my God, I'm gonna And it's kind of perfect. <laughs> Please don't do that. Okay. Here. So, yes, it's, I'll, oh, go ahead. That's the idea. <laughs> that'll be covered with. The leather fabric? The le no, this. This one. And you've got more of that downstairs. I do. I don't think I'll need much more of it though. I've got more, but they're not in like flat pieces. Yeah. Oh, he, you've got a helper on the way. Hi, Bobsy boy. He heard the he heard the plastic sounding noises. I know, buddy. Okay, and see, I, yeah, I think this will be enough actually. I think it will be too. Because it's supposed to be like a table runner. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, what I'm trying to do now is find a good shape for the holes. But the problem is that the smaller they are, the more hard they're gonna have to be because I have to cut through the styrofoam. That's true. Crisply. And then I also have to cut through the fabric and have it like not look like shit. So I think this is a perfectly reasonably sized hole. I believe you. You don't think so? No, 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 I think it's fine. So that's what I'm at. Yeah. Wait, look up. This can be the photo for the thing. Gay boy makes big watch. So true. Okay, here's what we have right now. I'm gonna paint these the same color on the inside where the styrofoam is so you won't be able to see as well. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. And then, what? I said put it on my wrist. Looks good. Nice. And then now I am working on these guys, which are covered in masking tape and are gonna be this same color as this stuff. Okay. Okay. For my emotional well being, <laughs> this is where we'll be done for a minute. <laughs> I have to get Velcro so that we can pull off the clock face to put batteries in it when it needs batteries. So, which is smart. Thanks. <clears throat> it's basically done. It basically cost $30 because $3 for this and then like 15-ish dollars for the leather jacket 
and then I think it was like eight dollars. I got way more than I needed of the well, because this one was a table runner, and I thought those were also, but I think they're like napkins. Yeah, I don't know whose house, whose blue <laughs> house they're from. Yeah, but all that's fine. And then masking tape, and then styrofoam from a other, different from delivery things. Yes. Um, I think it looks fine. I would never do this again in a million years. <laughs> it also is very much built to look cute from about six feet away. Um, it is not built for longevity. <laughs> However, <clears throat> it is light and going to hang on the wall and is much, much cheaper than between $200 and $1,500 for a giant Swatch watch, which I just... They should continue making them because they're really fun. But if they're going to do that, they should make them be like, I don't know, like $100, I feel, wouldn't even be crazy. I would yeah. still be making it, to be clear, because I'm not spending $100 on... On a baby's clock. A baby can't tell time. No, no. But Mickey Mouse can. Um, I painted in the holes because I felt like that made it kind of look more... There's like cardboard and shit behind, so it wasn't looking very cohesive without them painted in so that took probably the longest and was the most <laughs> rough part in terms of the clock phase. your your mental health <laughs> yeah the mickey mouse <clears throat> i just cut out of a piece of printer paper i think he looks fine did you get a close-up of him? no there's a couple i'll probably do like some close-ups so you can see the parts that are ugly i feel like sometimes i make um weird art projects and people are like wow this looks incredible and it, I do think, don't get me wrong, I think this looks good. The baby will love it. The baby's going to love it. In terms of my um, dreams and goals <laughs> for how it was going to look, we fell short in a couple of major ways. And that's all right. You know, sometimes it's like that. But yeah, I think this is going to be the end of this vlog. Sorry that it didn't make any sense and it's just such a... <laughs> no, no, no. Shit. We're trying to film more on YouTube and yeah, that is just a skill we're developing. Well... Yeah. To remember to do it and to remember how to talk. Well, yeah. Uh, I think the next video is probably going to be Morgan doing a cleaning thing. Yeah. Some cleaning stuff. And then after that, it'll be more nursery projects, which will include we bought the bucket on this video. And we won't be using the bucket <laughs> until the next one. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. There he is. There's. Yay. What? You're cute. You're cute.